Hello there, I've got a fantastic story for you. It's written by Mark Watson and illustrated by Pablo Machau. And it's read by John Kinornis. Shark in the Park. So listen up and enjoy. Storytelling with Sherry. Hi there, my name is John Quinones. This is the fantastic children's book, The Shark in the Park, by Mark Watson and Pablo Michao. Copyright 2014, all rights reserved. The air is misty, bright and cool. The morning Michael walks to school. At the boundary of the park he waits. Nervously he hesitates. The day warms up, the sun shines down, as Mike walks on into town. Gnarly branches, crook and tight, curl around the ghostly light. Suddenly he freezes, weak at the knees. What is that, swimming beneath the trees? There's a shark in the park, how can this be? These terrible beasts live in the sea. Blue above, white beneath the blackest eyes, the sharpest teeth. Its fin is huge, a towering dorsal. Mike feels small, a tiny morsel. Although he can't believe his eyes, he needs to move to stay alive. Through the grassy surf, his feet pound. He turns into a small playground. No time to breathe, no time to shout. He jumps onto the roundabout. It rolls and sways with a dizzy motion, as though a boat upon the ocean. Crash, smash, from beneath, the shark explodes, fins and teeth. Into the air his school bag goes, and then it's ripped to shreds by mighty jaws. The bus is here, he won't be beaten, he's faster now, his homework eaten. He sees a sight he can't believe. The bus pulls out and starts to leave. Just before the bus is gone, Mike shouts, stop, and stumbles on. Deprived now of a tasty bite, the shark sinks slowly out of sight. Day after day and all through the week, Mike battles the shark with a different technique. He's still awake in darkest night. His mom has long turned off the light. With his dad's helmet and fishing pole, Mike decides to risk it all. The line goes tight, and without a sound, he reels the shark out of the ground. Before it can consume him whole, it's sucked into the goldfish bowl. Now, here he is, the fearsome beast, fat, content, and tame, bobbing around on the mantelpiece between some books and a picture frame. Thanks for listening to The Shark in the Park by Mark Watson and Pablo Michel.